The next thing you want to do in Mumble is configure your push to talk key. By default, you will just be talking and you'll have an open mic. This is disruptive and difficult to understand and communicate on Mumble when people are sneezing or eating, etc. So you want to go to Settings and then down to Shortcuts. Here you'll see an ability to add shortcuts. Go ahead and click Add and you'll see a new unassigned function appear on the shortcuts list. Under functions, go ahead and select this drop down menu and scroll down to push to talk key. Go ahead and select push to talk and the sh shortcut uh, column will now be blank. So click shortcut and you'll be prompted to press the shortcut that you want for your push to talk key. It's useful to use a button on your mouse, or perhaps the tilde key on your keyboard, something that's out of the way and isn't going to typically get pressed while you're in the process of playing the game or chatting with friends. You can also select to suppress this key, and what this will do is disallow the key to trigger any other functions and other programs while you're using Mumble. So for instance, in most games, if you pressed the tilde key, it would open the console, but if you had the suppress option selected here, it will not open the console and will only trigger your push to talk function in Mumble while Mumble is loaded. So go ahead and select a shortcut key that works well for you and make sure that suppress is selected and click apply and then OK.